1.1 it has mr1 and mr2 maintenance released 1 and 2 so which has let us changes and the, the windows based tool is a framework manager where in business objects the universe will be creating right the same way we will create in the model in framework manager the same way web based tools are report studio query studio and cognos connection so report studio which is used for advanced reporting purpose and query studio is for ad hoc reporting purpose and cognos connection is the uh, administration area where you can do all the admin activities all those stuff and then cognos 8 again they have uh, come up with the cognos 8 which has same windows based and web based tools but in web based and windows based they have added few more the in windows based we have a transformer as well this time in cognos and web based we have a report studio query studio and cognos connection then analysis studio and event and metric studio as well so they are the three new studios which they have introduced with cognos 8 the windows based tools are framework manager map manager transformer metric designer so web based will be like uh, query studio report studio cognos connection and all analysis event metric business insight and insight advice so these are the latest you know the version is uh, cognos 10.2 now so this is the user interface of cognos 10 it's a complete enterprise business intelligence software solution with integrated reporting analysis core coding and event management capabilities so what is a cognos connection so it's a web portal, it provides a single point entry, single point of entry to Cognos 10 for creating, running, viewing, scheduling, organizing and distributing reports. So authors and users can access any of the studios through Cognos connection based on the access levels. It also includes these are things, public folders, my folders, directory and schedule management. So few more are there in the next slide, I'll just explain you. And public folders are stored shared Cognos 10 application content such as packages, records, shortcuts and jobs. Packages is nothing but it is coming from the pack framework manager. So in framework manager we will build a model and we will publish as a package to the Cognos connection. And then the report shortcuts and jobs all will be available in a public folders. And my, if you see this here you can see this public folders and my folders. So in public folders, it will be like interest of all the people like whoever having access to Cognos. So for example, if you are as a developer, you are creating a report and you want to move it to QA environment for users to test or QA team to test. Okay. So like if you save the report in this particular path, so they will go and access the same report in the same path in different environment. And then my folders, it stores personal Cognos 10 content such as report shortcuts and job. So it's just for your own purpose. So uh, before completing the report, if it is in progress, you can save it in my folders and you can start working. And once you completed the report, then you can move it to the public folder so that all, all other people can see it, what uh, the report you have developed. And then directory. The directory selection is used to specify Cognos data sources and their associated connections to uh, get the data to the Cognos from database, we need a data source connection, right? So those kind of details will be stored in this directory. And then the groups and roles for security purpose and then the specified distribution list. So if you want to send the report to different people through emails, so in that case we need a distribution list, right? So we need to connect to Active Directory or NTLM or third party uh, Active Directories. And then the contacts and printers. So all this information will get stored in directory. And then the schedule management is used to manage and monitor current and scheduled reports and jobs. It's an admin activity, as you know. So Cognos 10 has a multi-tier architecture. For description purpose, it can be separated to three tiers. Web server, application server, and data server. So let me show you. Also, it has user interfaces sit above the tiers, the web-based and Windows-based. So these are the web-based and Windows-based user interfaces within Cognos. The communication protocol is SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, over HTTP. The user interfaces are classified as web-based and Windows-based, and below are the web-based interfaces, connection, administration, query studio, report, analysis, event, event. So they are the Windows-based interfaces in Cognos 10. FM, Metric Designer, Transformer, Map Manager, and GoOffice. Yeah. This is the architecture, Cognos 10 architecture. So I'll just explain you like one by one, like in each and every server what will happen, how the data will flow from top to bottom. Mainly the web communication in IBM Cognos Business Intelligence 
is typically through gateways. It's an extension of a web server program that transfers information from the web server to another server. Okay. It's like a transporter, like it's an extension of web server program. The, what it will do is it transfers the information from one server to another server. So CCA will be the default gateway and it can be used for all supported web servers. However, for enhanced performance or throughput, you may choose uh, other uh, supported gateway types as well, like IS API, Apache, and servlets. As soon as uh, the gateway receives a request, what it will do? So it encrypts the password to ensure security. The first step is it encrypts the password to ensure security. And then it also extracts information needed to submit the request to the IBM Cognos BI server. So whatever the information it records, so it will just submit that request to the server. Also it attaches the environment variables for the web server. And then it passes request to the Cognos IBM dispatcher for the processing. So it will receive the request and it will pass, you know, process the request to the next server to get the data to from this content store or query database or metric database. So that is a part of a gateway in the first web server. Now coming to the application type. So it contains one or more IBM Cognos BI servers. A server runs requests such as reports, analysis and queries. So whatever the request is coming from web server, it is trying to run those requests that are forwarded by a gateway. So, okay. yeah. So each IBM Cognos BI installation includes application type components. These are the application type components, which has, you know, which includes a dispatcher that operates services and routes requests. So dispatcher is the main thing, which routes the request, and then which operates the services as well. So we'll have a, a Cognos standard services. So I'll just show you the. Let me go to the Cognos configuration. So I have installed it on my local desktop and I'm taking you through the Cognos configuration file so that I can show you the services of Cognos. It can be handled by Cognos Dispatcher. Cognos Dispatcher performs the load balancing of requests at the application tier. It also, you know, you know what is a dispatcher by any chance? Like, do you have any idea? No. Okay, so the dispatcher component is a lightweight Java servlet that manages application services. Also, it starts all IBM Cognos services configured and enabled on a computer and also it routes the request. So it will enable the services first, starts the Cognos services, whatever the configured and enabled on this particular computer and it will route the request. So that is a primary job of dispatcher. The dispatcher is a multi-threaded application that uses one or more threads per request. So the dispatcher includes the IBM Cognos application firewall to provide security for IBM Cognos PI. So IBM Cognos has a built-in the firewall secured like the IBM Cognos application firewall, which is to provide security for IBM Cognos BI. A dispatcher can also route request to a specific dispatcher to run a given request. Request can be routed to specific dispatchers based on load balancing needs or package or user group requirements. What will happen is like when a dispatcher starts, it registers itself with a content manager. So in the content manager, the dispatcher will go and register itself so that other another dispatchers can know what the each and every dispatcher is doing. So that will help while the load balancing. So if a dispatcher fails or is unavailable, requests for the dispatcher are routed to the next available dispatcher until the failed dispatcher re-registers itself. So whenever it is got enabled, again it will come to the content manager and it will register itself so that other dispatchers can come to know how many dispatchers are working on this particular computer. Okay. Content manager is the IBM Cognos PI service that manages the storage of customer application data, including security, configuration data, models, report specifications, and report outputs. So these are all get stored in the content store that will be managed by content manager. Content manager stores information in a content store database, which is typically located in this data tier. So the information stored by content manager includes 
reports. The reports contain specification. So the report specification will be in XML format in Cognos. And then okay. the report properties, security settings, and outputs. Uh, apart from this reports, so we'll be having report packages from framework manager as we discussed like in framework manager we will build a model and we will publish that as a package so that package details also will get stored in this content store which will be managed by content manager content manager it contains access manager the primary security component of IBM Cognos BI access manager leverages your existing security providers for use with IBM Cognos BI so whatever existing security providers what we have so that can be leveraged by access manager it provides ibm cognos bi with a consistent set of security capabilities and apis application programming interfaces including user authentication authorization and encryption so these are the things will be happen at second layer the application layer the dispatcher content manager and content manager will be managed by the content store and then content manager has also access manager which is a primary security component content store is a relational database that contains data that Cognos 10 needs to operate such as report specifications published models and the packages that contain them connection information for data sources information about the external namespace and the Cognos namespace itself and information about scheduling and bursting reports so all this information will store in and then yeah so this is the web user interface of Cognos so Cognos connection will be there from Cognos connection you can launch these studios query so, studio which is used for ad hoc reporting client user interface from framework like uh, these are the different data sources so we will connect different data sources through framework manager and we will build a model and publish that as a package to Cognos connection from using that package we will open these studios to create reports so this is a high level uh, workflow i can see here also the it's open database open data access so we can fetch data from sql xml mdx or odbc connections or meta database so we can access the data through framework manager and we will use it in all the studios, different studios. It's all uh, like a level workflow of Cognos, the different user interfaces.